Hey guys, how's it going? It's Italian right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna walk you through how we can build our games to WebGL. I'm pretty excited about that because I'm using Shader Graph and I'm also using the low weight rendering pipeline. The other cool thing about this video is we're gonna be upgrading from 2018 to 2018. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to walk through basically upgrading this to 2019. This is running currently in 2018, that 3.1. And I also want to see if we can run this in WebGL with 2019, that one. I have shader graph in here. And the way that this thing works is basically applying vertex displacement to all of these objects. So let's see if we can get it working. I'm gonna try to upgrade it and see if we can get it running in the browser. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and close this and open it in 2019. So let's go ahead and close out of this. I'm gonna open my Unity Hub. And if you haven't downloaded the Unity Hub, I totally recommend you do it because this thing is, is literally, is, is amazing. Like you can go into installs, you can look at all the versions that you have, you can associate the versions. If you have a new one, you can look at beta. So it's really, really cool. I, I completely recommend it. So. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm using this Unity, this is the, the project that we were looking at, which is the Unity LWRP Essentials. And I shouldn't have clicked on that. I, I wanted to open it in a, in a different version of Unity, so that's okay. Well, this is what I did to open it up, so now I can show you. So I'll just go ahead and close it. Go back into Unity and open up the Unity Hub. So in here, I'm gonna click on this dot, 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 and this is gonna allow me to select a different version. And this is what we're gonna to do to upgrade it. I'm gonna select 2018.1.0. And the build target, we can change it right away. If I didn't want it, want it to open it and then have to change the target, I could change it here. So this is why I really like one of the, the Unity Hub. It has really cool features. Then click on open. And it's not only, it's not only gonna upgrade the project, but it's also gonna change the build. It's gonna change it to be a WebGL. And while this is running, let me show you some other features of, of this. I, I don't wanna have you waiting. And the other things that are really cool, if you go into, into install, while we have the project upgrading, you can also look at the versions that you have. You can click on this dot, 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 and you can say, okay, you know what? In 2018.2.0 alpha nine, I want to add a new component. And you can say, okay, for that version, I want to add tvOS, I want to add Linux build support, and then so on. So you can do that with every, you know, every single version that you have. Because you may want, you know, you may want to test things in 2019 that you don't really want to test on a previous version. So you may want to test how, you know, your game works on a Mac versus, you know, how it works on iOS. So that's basically, you know, kind of a, a brief overview of Unity Hub. So let's see where we are with the upgrade. Okay, so we're still so still importing the packages. All right, guys, so it looks like we have the project upgraded to 2019 and everything is showing fine. So this is great, this is great news. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on play and let me make sure that everything, you know, everything it's it's running once I hit play. And yeah, everything it's everything is working great. The shader, it's getting applied correctly. So before we continue, let me go ahead and, and change the layout here because this is just bugging me. Okay, there we go. So this is perfect. So the what I want to do is I change this to, to use WebGL and I want to make sure that we can run this on WebGL. So if you're curious, because that's one of the main reasons for me doing this video is I wanted to show you how you can build this project to WebGL. And what I might do at the end of this video is I might simply you know create a new branch where this is already set for you and you can basically check out that branch for webgl and build it on webgl so now that i have webgl selected and that is the selected platform i want to make sure that i can build it and run it so i'm going to click on build i'm going to go to my desktop and i'm just going to create a new basically a new project we're going to call these unity lwrp essentials and we can say webgl it's a little verbose, but it gives me an idea what this build is for. I'm gonna hit save. And this is gonna take probably a few minutes to build and looks like we have some errors. And that this is what I wanted to find out if it was gonna work. Okay, let's see why this is not working. And let's see, so I'm have a network transport error. 
does not contain a definition. This is on the community multiplayer. Okay, runtime, network discovery. I have no idea why this is complaining. All I know is that it's not working. Okay. Let's see, come multiplayer. Let me see if I have any updates that we need to possibly apply in the package manager. And let's see, I'm using ads, I'm using Okay, and I don't believe that's part that's part of the community multiplayer. Okay. Okay, so here's a new multiplayer. Let's see if we have if there's by chance a new version. Looks like we're using the latest version on the multiplayer and this is what that is complaining about. It's not a continue okay. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check a couple of things on the build settings because I have no idea why this is erroring out. But maybe we can find it by looking at the WebGL settings. So it's probably if there was a setting it could be under the under the other settings. So let me see. Okay, so I don't see anything regarding multiplayer in here. Let's go ahead and clear this out. I'm going to try one more time. If I get the error one more time, we're going to go and just Google it. Okay, and let's going to do, let's go ahead and just do a build and run one more time. And then do it to the desktop. Okay, so we're clearly getting an error. Let me go ahead and select one of those errors and we'll just do a Google search and see what we can find. Okay. I don't like doing this in videos because it, you know, we, we waste a lot of time doing this, but hopefully you can see. Okay, there we go. Windows, package manager, remove, try. Okay. It seems when Unity added some kind of alternative multiplayer functionality, screwed up. Okay, so Unity did something and it's causing problems. So it's okay. This happens. Unity, they are developers. We are developers. We made mistakes. So we're just going to get rid of this. And I got an invitation for a meeting. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to remove this multiplayer HL API package. And let's see, it should be done here in a minute. Once we get a remove, we should be able to build. And this is the first time that I tried building to WebGL in 2018. So my apologies for, you know, for walking you through something that was breaking. But hopefully this can teach us a lot. It will teach me a lot for sure. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just gonna hit save. And once we hit save, okay, so we're good. We're looking better. It's still, we don't know if it's gonna work until we see it running. So I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna work until we see it running in the in the browser. Okay, so we're packaging. The cool thing with this is it's actually using the low wave rendering pipeline. So I. To be honest, I didn't look and see if that pipeline was supported by WebGL. And this is what we're going to be finding out. We're, we're also using post-processing in this scene. So we're, we're going to be able to check if post-processing is going to work and also if the low weight rendering pipeline is going to work. Okay, so we're still, still running. Looks like it's compiling the shaders for anything that we have in the post-processing. All right, guys, so it looks like this completed and the build was successful. And the cool thing is this is actually running the low weight rendering pipeline. Everything is working. If I go and expand it, this is so cool. This is, this is working really, really well. It's actually super smooth. I'm running on the browser. I forgot how amazing WebGL was and I haven't, I haven't been building to WebGL for a long time. So yeah, so I have shader graph using here. I'm also using the low weight rendering pipeline and I'm using the latest version of Unity, which is 2018.1. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net. They are my sponsor and they have amazing resources for game developers of all kinds. Make sure that you also check out my Patreon page where I'm actually raising funds to improve the quality of these videos by getting, you know, a video editor professional or by getting help from other resources. So thank you very much, guys.